again, we know that everyone is busy as well. We're busy. I know we're afraid now. We're, oh my God, how am I going to keep all these balls in the air and all these connections? And Keith Ferrazzi have had an opportunity to hang out with him a couple times. He wrote a phenomenal book, Never Eat Alone. And he has a great trick that he uses to basically keep those connections brewing when you are short on time. And it's simply reaching out to people when you know they're busy and you know there's not going to be a 30 minute conversation. You know it's going to be a quick text back. Just thinking of you. I know you're at work. I know you're slammed. Just wanted to let you know you popped in my mind and give them an opportunity to reach back out to you when it's a better time for them. So you're not having to constantly rearrange your schedule. I know some people listening to this right now are like, AJ, I'm going to be on the phone for hours every day. How am I going to do this after work? These are simple ways to utilize the technology available to us to foster connection, to show up for the people in our lives. And there is a note section in your address book for a reason. Taking notes and writing down important things about the people in your life and keeping track of them is easy nowadays. This is low effort. You don't need to carry around a mole skein with all of the notes about every <laughs> single person you're talking to. You don't need to have countless pages digitally following along, keeping track of the people that matter to you and the things that matter to them go a long way towards showing up and putting their events on your calendar. As I said, I have birthdays coming in. I have big events like exams, presentations, vacations. When you keep track of the people's lives that you care about, it goes a long way towards showing them that you care about them. And technology is great for this sort of stuff. And hey, I know that, oh, now my calendar's cluttered. I, I'm already hearing our listeners come back with, so create a separate calendar, calendar yeah. for friends. Throw all your little friend activities on that calendar and uncheck it when you don't need to see it when you're busy at work and check it on your designated, oh, I'm gonna check in on my friends days. You start to build these habits and all of a sudden, you're following along more closely, you're paying closer attention to the people that matter, you are showing up for them. 